Please, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi, and today I'm gonna take you with me in London Town. This quirky, lively neighborhood became super popular and I want to show you how. It's actually full of uh, vintage stores, fashion stores and of course amazing food markets which as you know I totally love. Don't forget to subscribe! And guys, we have quite a lot to cover in this video. So, first of all, I'm going to tell you why you should go to Camden Town, how can you get there, give you a little bit of a history and background of the neighborhood, tell you what are the 10 best things to do and see in there, going to give you some suggestions on places where you should eat and where you should not eat. And I literally learned this from my experience because I bought food from from three different places in Camden and in the end I also do a little taste test for you and I also review it so stay tuned for that I'm also going to give you very useful and practical tips when visiting Camden grab a bevy and let's get into the video and just for your reference I'm filming this in January 2021 when we are in tier 4 at the moment so the market was closed except from the food market and as you can see there aren't many tourists it was rainy and guys I still wanted to show you this amazing neighborhood give you some ideas and maybe you can visit at a better time first of all why should you even visit Camden town well the truth is in the beginning Camden was more famous among punks and rock artists but in the recent years it is also a hot spot for tourists because there are so many different things that you can do in there of course you can listen to great live music there is an amazing and lively nightlife maybe not exactly in the past year it's a super cool spot and uh, there are also lots of pubs there is an amazing market from where you can buy vintage clothes, thrifted clothes, uh, lots of accessories, of course many food stalls and it's also very beautiful because it's right next to the canal so you can have a walk in there and it's also very different from central London or west London and oh my god I was about to forget the street art street art is synonymous with Camden how to get there well if you're coming by tube the closest station is Camden which is part of the northern line if you're coming by bus then you can take number 24 29 or 134 and if you're coming by train the closest station is St Pancras and if you're coming by car St Pancras will also be the best place for you to park and let me give you a little bit of a history and background actually you might be surprised but until the 800s this area was used mostly for agricultural and industrial purposes it wasn't until the 1970s when these deserted industrial buildings were sublet to workshop owners and the weekend market was also soon established later on in 1985 also three other markets opened did you know that many famous people like Dylan Thomas and also Amy Winehouse have made Camden their home do you know this little lady behind me you are right it's Amy Winehouse. Now let me tell you what are the 10 best things that you can do and see in Camden. You should totally go to Staples Market which is actually a former horse hospital and it's so easy to get lost in there and it's uh, actually the best way to experience it. You can shop vintage clothes, handmade jewelry, uh, some phone cases and crazy neon world of Cyberdog. You can also get get an ethical food from the food market. There is anything from Peruvian ceviche to Japanese sushi, Argentinian steaks at the market. Next thing that you should do is go to Regent's Canal which is basically the heart and the soul of Camden. It's super beautiful and just imagine being there in summer with a pint of beer. Super lovely. Something else that you can do is that if you go a little bit outside of Camden you can go to Primrose Hill which is actually a great spot with an amazing view and from there you can see London Eye, the Shard, Canary Wharf and in summer it's an amazing spot to have a picnic with your friends. What is actually Camden without 
street art. I would say just keep your eyes open while you're there because you don't want to miss any of these super creative and cool spots. In Camden Log Village you can find anything from clothing and accessories uh, and also a range of unusual items. But if you actually don't enjoy so much buying thrifted clothes or vintage ones then I would say that Camden High Street is a better place for you because this is the place where you can find bigger brands and more famous stores. Camden has always been a great place for live music and there are many super famous legendary venues like Jazz Cafe, Blues Kitchen, Coco or Electric Ballroom. You can also check out some live performances uh, and installations at the Roundhouse. And now for the most important part, where should you eat in Camden Town? Camden is famous for its food scene because first of all it has all of these amazing food markets if you're vegan it is one of the best places for you to go guys because as i told you at the moment we're in tier 4 and i couldn't really eat inside those places and it was a rainy day so instead i decided to buy food from the different markets or restaurants and then bring it home to do a taste test for you but let's see how did this go no 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 look at that i was so much looking forward to having it and let's start with the one that we have kind of the least ex expectations about or at least i do because yeah i saw it at the market and it was one of the few kind of asian places that were open i will put the name here and i got a veggie bun yum and also these noodles and something fried which they got for me it's a bit dry and guess the price this mm -hmm. six pounds nine what mm. How would you rate it out of 10? I would give it a 5. I really don't like it to be honest. These fried things, mm. it's just fried dough and there isn't anything. So I'm actually giving it a 4, if not a 3 to be honest. The saddest, saddest thing in here was this, which was supposed to be a hummus plate inside with a shakshuka salad, which you're supposed to put inside this and pita. Yeah, we, so, we actually dip the pita in the backpack if you want. Yeah, exactly. But let's try. Yum, 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 yum. I will insert a photo of how it's actually supposed to look like. And we also got a drink. 11. What? 11? Why? She's a... Uh, Pico. Poppy, poppy. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. How would you rate this out of 10? Oh, this is definitely like a 7. I would give it uh, an 8 to be honest, only because of the service and it really looked good. It's just that after falling down, of course, mm. it doesn't. Sunitas for an amazing curry magic falafel, which you can also find at the market. Lord of Okay, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this right. Chin Chin Labs from where you can get one of these super Instagrammable ice creams. Cheese wheel which you might have also seen on social media because of its growing popularity. And for all of you vegans, I actually found the best vegan pizza in London. I'm not joking. It's so, so good. It's called Purezza and uh, it is a completely plant-based sourdough pizzeria and you know actually Ben is Italian so he knows what is a good pizza so I decided to bring it home and not tell him that it was actually vegan and this was his reaction a bit burnt but apart from that it's nice because I added the artichoke this one costed uh, 14 pounds mm. yeah. How would you rate it out of 10? Mm. Eight. Plot twist. Da -da -da -da. Mm. Guys, you know that this place makes the best vegan pizza in town. This is a vegan pizza. Mm. Yeah. The cheese doesn't taste like much. It does, it just doesn't taste like mozzarella. Mm. Yeah. I would rate it 9 out or 10 out of 10. It's really, really good. And the cheese doesn't taste like mozzarella, but it looks like it and it's one of the best vegan cheeses. Temple of Satan, where they have 
burgers and fried chicken which are also 100% vegan and it's right next to this restaurant called Purezza so vegans I would say that this is your hotspot in there and now let's talk about useful tips and information be really careful and keep an eye on your belongings because as I said it's a very famous tourist place which leads to having a lot of pickpocketers in there if you actually want to avoid the big crowds that maybe you don't see in my videos but usually it looks something like that you should try going on weekdays or early in the mornings this tip maybe I have already told you in my Notting Hill video but guys you should totally be careful because some of the places are trying to rip off tourists so always try and make a great bargain before you go you should definitely check out restaurants and the best places to eat because as you saw also in the one that I randomly chose it definitely wasn't the best option and I would say it was also kind of a ripoff so I really don't want you to waste your money and guys this is it from this video I really hope that this information was useful let me know in the comments down below have you ever been to Camden Town are you inspired to go there now and anything else that you want to share I would literally love to speak to you. Love you all. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.